The sun's magnetic field is incredibly complicated and dynamic, and it drives all of the activity that happens on the sun, space weather and solar storms. So we want to understand these magnetic fields so that we can understand these storms, why they happen, and uh, how powerful they could be. Inside the sun, it's not a solid body, so it rotates at different speeds at different places, and this generates magnetic field via something called a solar dynamo. These magnetic fields are generated and they increase in strength rising to the surface, giving us sunspots, and this gives us the solar activity that we're talking about. This whole process happens over a time scale of roughly 11 years. We call this the solar cycle. The solar cycle goes from being very weak uh, with low activity to high activity, then back down to low activity. But what's exciting for us right now is that we are near this peak of activity and what also happens with that is that the orientation of the sun's magnetic field reverses itself, switches places. And so this is what's happening right now because we are near this solar maximum period. All of this activity, solar flares, these bright flashes of uh, light, or coronal mass ejections, which are huge explosions of material, they don't impact us directly, but what they do impact is our technology. They can cause temporary disruptions in our communications, GPS, they can create a dangerous environment for astronauts in space, and they can also cause disruptions in our power grid. Now the one good side about that is it also gives us the aurora that we can see at the northern and southern poles. 